Okay, so I'm going to just walk you through this um, because it's still not quite right. And I think by just walking you through it, um, it's going to make more sense. So you got the recheck, but this is the original one. Okay, so here's the original problem, and I'm just going to show you how it works. Okay, so hemophilia is a disorder where the blood does not clot properly. Okay, hemophilia is a sex link recessive trait. So let's start with the recessive trait. We're using little h's. So we know from the previous examples that if you have a recessive trait for a disease, you would have to be two little letters, right? So little h, little h would be hemophilia. If you had big H, little h, you would be normal, right? You wouldn't have the disease, but you would be called a carrier because you carry that little h. And if you were homozygous dominant, big H, big H, then you would just be normal, okay? So the gene is gonna work like this, okay? That blood clotting gene. However, because it's sex linked, we have to take into account the male and female chromosome because it's found on the X chromosome. So remember that if you're a female, you have for your 23rd pair of chromosomes you have two x's right you got an x from mom you got an x from dad if you're a male you got an x from mom and you got a y from dad so because this gene is a sex linked gene it means that the gene is actually carried in this case by the x chromosomes it holds it and so we have to take into account this because it's going to affect males or females differently because it is found on a sex link chromosome. So in the first question, it says the female has a mother that has hemophilia. Well, we know that in order to have hemophilia, you're, you have to have two little H's and we know that if you're a female, you're XX. So the mom would be X little h because you have to have the x and it carries one of the alleles for hemophilia and x little h right that's what the mother would be now it says so you can kind of put your box in here now it says that the dad so i'll put dad in a different color here is normal so dads only have males only have one x chromosome right and then they have one y chromosome shift this up okay because this is a male this represents the dad the male this up here represented the female so because the h is only found on the x chromosome they would only have one H on the X chromosome. And if he's normal, it's going to be the dominant allele. Okay? So the H's in this case are carried by the X chromosome. The Y has nothing. So oftentimes people will put a letter on the Y too, but there's no letter on the Y. It's an, it's an X-linked, meaning it's carried by the X gene. And now you would fill in your box. So sometimes what I'll do to kind of make it easier to visualize, like I'll just extend this line out here, right? And extend this line out here. So you can kind of see, so you would take this one and fill it in and this one and fill it over. So you'd end up with XH, little h, and a big H. So look, this you got from the dad, this one you got from the mom. The allele combination is big H, little h. So this, and it's a daughter because there's two X's. So they would be normal, but they would have a carrier, that offspring. Okay. So then you continue. We've got big, big H, X, big H here. X, little h here. So again, this daughter would be a carrier. They wouldn't have the disease, but they'd be a carrier for it. Come on down. We got Y here. And then we have X little h. Well, guess what? There's no big H to dominate or to mask over this disease allele, right? Because there's only 
one H here. There's nothing on the Y chromosome. So this would be a male that has the disorder. So can you see here how sex-linked traits are going to affect females differently than they're going to affect males because males don't have two X's. They don't have a possibility to have that extra allele on there. Same over here. You got Y and you got X little H. So what this means is, is that overall, there's a 50% chance, right, two out of four, of your child having the disease. However, if you look closely, you have a 0% chance of daughters having it. Every single one of your daughters has got an X, a big letter, a big H. But 100% of your sons will have the disease. So you have to, again, when it says it's X-linked, you have to take into account the fact that this gene is found on the X chromosome, okay? And then separate it out just like you would do before, but you have to keep in mind the X and the Ys, and there will be nothing, no Hs on the Y chromosome because it's not found on the Y chromosome. It's only found on the X chromosome. So hopefully that helps. If you need to, try and go back and do question five on the recheck in order to get a good understanding of what's happening. This, being able to do this, is one of the required competencies. So I want you to be able to successfully figure this out. And, and if you're still struggling, then let me know and we'll set up a meeting to go over it again in person and practice. But otherwise, try the recheck again.